Search for a suspect in the stabbing death of an Anne Arundel County woman ended over the weekend in Virginia, and now the victim's son faces extradition back here to Maryland. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has the latest on the murder investigation. Jeff. When Juanita Colopley went missing from her home in Tracy's Landing, her boyfriend walked into a bloody scene inside the house, and police later found her body hidden outside. Their attention immediately turned to the only other person who had been living there, her 23-year-old son, Andrew Beavers, who was nowhere to be found. What they noticed that day was that the, the victim's vehicle was gone. So they put that vehicle into our national database, which, you know, if a car gets stolen or whatnot, um, and the car was recovered down in Leesburg, Virginia, Loudoun County. That vehicle was driven um, by who turns out to be the victim's biological son. Police searched the car and found an edged weapon that they believe was used to inflict sharp force injuries on Cola Plea. And Beavers had a fresh cut on his hand that he couldn't explain. Typically, if we see an assault with an edged weapon, the suspect also gets cut. And that can be just from defensive moves from our victim or just the knife being slippery and the suspect's hand sliding down it. So it is very common in assaults that involved edge weapons for the assailant to also be injured. According to her obituary, the 58-year-old Kola Plea came to the U.S. from India to study and went on to start up two cybersecurity companies. She acquired her cottage along the Chesapeake Bay three years ago. In Anne Arundel County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.